bless the lord and happy sunday to you god is indeed an awesome god and he's indeed worthy to be praised oh come let's magnify the lord let us exalt his name together for he is worthy to be praised a happy sunday to you welcome if you are new to this channel please subscribe stick around let's grow together in the lord if you are not new welcome welcome to this beautiful sunday that the lord has granted us which is grace to live to see as we are alive in the presence of the lord glow to god let's get straight into the word a word will be coming from the book we will the book of obadiah let me read it for us. Glory to God. We'll be looking at Obadiah 1 through to uh, 3. It says, The vision of Obadiah, thus said the Lord God concerning Edom. We have heard a rumor from the Lord. An ambassador is sent among the Eden. Arise ye and let us rise up against her in battle. Verse 2, Behold, I have made thee small among the Eden, thou art greatly despised. Verse 3, The pride of thine heart has deceived thee, thou that dwellest in the cliffs of the rock, whose inhabitation is high, that said, said it in his heart, who shall bring me down to the ground that's a portion of god's word we honor it <clears throat> excuse me by saying thanks be to god glory to god let us pray before we get into it father god we thank you for this morning we thank you for your greatness we thank you that you're good we thank you that you're god by yourself lord even for this message we pray god you go in front you you be the start you be in the middle you be at the end take full control and let god your will be done oh god let lord god everything said lord god let it be said by you from you oh glory to god we lord god you will give someone confirmation today oh god it gives someone confirmation tonight this even this afternoon wherever oh god or wherever you will do it let god you be glorified while the adversary god be terrified in jesus name glory to god let's get into it so we look we're looking at we're gonna obadiah the book of obadiah and we know that obadiah obadiah himself was a prophet right it says that obadiah was a prophet to judah in this time he prophesied about the judgment right he prophesied about the judgment coming down that would be come that would be down raining down on them the judgment the things that would that would basically happen to them this is what obadiah um tell the people right a prophet right he told them that god is not pleased god is gonna rain down a judgment on you for what you're doing towards his people and as simple as it sounds excuse me esther but I tell someone that god is gonna rain down on your enemies god is gonna deliver you god is gonna do it for you he is gonna make a way that it seems impossible right now just believe that god is going to do it because from he said it he's going to do it don't fear god is going to do it he's going to do it he's going to do it he's going to do it he has to do it because he is god and he's not a man that he should lie there's no lying being our born in jesus ah god doesn't need to to lie to prove anything because if he show up or doesn't show up he's still a god glory to god so it says that obadiah prophet sent to judah to prophesy about the judgment that will be coming down but let's ex expound on verse three where the lord said that the pride of their heart has deceived them the enemy has come up on you the enemy is up to you 
up on you up to your neck and they are felt like all they have done and what they are doing is a working and the bible tells us that it says that the pride of their heart has deceived them because they have done a lot of things and it has uh, gone through a few few things that's happened but this big thing that they want to bring you down to the ground they want to say hashes to hashes and dust to dust and the god of judah is for you he's keeping you he's saying that he will not let them destroy you anymore he will not let them oh god despise you anymore because he have seen it glory to god and because they're what they're doing they're so are uh, prideful in doing it uh, they're boasting in themselves in their powers of the world in their powers of, of what this world has to offer god is saying that listen man i will destroy them and who are them are we talking about we're talking about the edomites who are the edomites the edomites were descendants of esau Esau, who is Esau? Jacob's brother. And we know, listen, it goes to show that it doesn't matter who once they come against you, the God that's inside of you, what you stand for, God will show up. It could be your very own. God will show up because Esau was related, well, is related to Jacob. And we know that they were brothers. Glory to God right and meaning this mean their their brothers mean that they're listening to this nation no because you know that jacob is a nation that is that, that has become israel so you know that they are related but even so being related they, they don't care about uh the promise that is over israel that israel is a should well were should be a holy nation those peculiar people righteous people unto the lord they don't care about that the bible tells us that they were against them glory to god and being against them um the big um no they started to attacking them glory to god but the bible tells us man mighty god that when the edomites were doing this i don't know who was up against an edomite spirit whatever spirit whatever demonic spirit whatever realm whatever you are up against glory to god god is saying that his wrath is being kindled and when his wrath is being kindled he will show up he will make a way he will destroy the hands of the adversary mighty god because the adversary has taught to themselves that hey i've got this who to save us Oh, to save them. The psalmist said, God, don't let them laugh and say, aha, aha, where is their God? Ah, the psalmist said, bow down your ears unto my prayer. Incline, Lord God, unto my prayer. Give a listening ears. Listen to me. I need you to come and deliver me. And David could say that, yes, God, you have delivered me out of the mighty waters. The flood did not overthrow me. Glory to God. Ah, even though I was in it, my neck did not seem to go down. My head did not go under the water it listen it doesn't matter what you're facing today it doesn't matter what you're facing right now it doesn't matter what you have been facing that either might whatever spirit whatever forces has come upon you i decree and declare that god wrath will be kindled and god will show up god will take you out of it your situation is just about to turn glory to god your situation is a just about to to, to 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 be better god is just about to show that he has been there all along abba father oh glory is mighty mighty in battle he will never lose a battle and he's there he is for you and he will deliver glory to god no no when god wrath ah be kindled verse four let, let me just read something he said thou do exalt thyself as the eagle and thou Thou I set the nest among the star. Ah, oh, God said, I will surely bring you down. So the enemy is not only over you, it's over your children, children, children. It's like a generation. But they don't know that the Bible tells us that, listen, curse not what God has blessed. Glory to God. And once God has called you blessed, you are blessed. Meaning that your very children, children, children will be blessed. Down to the very fourth, last generation will be blessed. I know sometimes it's rough. I know sometimes it's hard. But hold on a little 
long God. Seek God in all his glory. Seek his face. Seek his presence and cry out to him. He will hear you. And according to Mark, Mark said, pray and receive. Pray, receive. Pray and believe in that when you pray, everything that you have asked for is given and receive it in Jesus' name. Glory to God. Uh, Proverbs 16 verse 18 said, the pride go with this confirm the pride of their heart. It said the pride go before destruction and the art is spirit before a fall. So the pride of man go before the booms of their chest and head high in their boom and they're walking, they're driving, they're laughing. The pride go before a destruction. That's what the scripture says and God will not lie. He will not make up anything to fit his category. He will not make up anything because he was self-existent all by himself and then he saw it fit to make you and me. So what God was saying that, listen, once he spoke a word through his prophet, it will come to pass. Yeah, and we know from the, the book of Jeremiah how he has spoke to Jeremiah and Jeremiah went out of Jeremiah went out the prophets, the false prophet, they accused Jeremiah of Jeremiah being false and Jeremiah wept. We know Jeremiah to be the weeping prophet and Jeremiah wept to the Lord and, and God spoke to him and then he spoke to Ezekiah but Ezekiah did not take heed and when Ezekiah did not take in heed when Jeremiah said, the Lord said, go out and meet our king, the king of Babylon, King Nebuchadnezzar because something will happen. He, ah, the false prophet said, how could you be a king and to bow to other, another king that doesn't see pleasing with the people because now once you start stray away from God and start to please ah glory to God man then you are in trouble but we are to please God at all times even when we are what we are saying ah it seems as if others are not saying what we are doing it seems as if others are not doing seek God and seek him in all of his wisdom all of his infiniteness seek him in all of his glory and let him reveal his true self to you and I might I tell you that the the deeper you go in him, the more troubles, the more trials. But the greatest thing is from God is with you. He will keep you and sustain you. Glory to God. So, the, and we know that Nebuchadnezzar, oh, he came over um, in, 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 in Ezekiah's right kingdom and he, he conquered and in conquering he, he plucked out the eyes of Ezekiah and slew his sons this is what the bible tells us and then he take uh, king Ezekiah into uh, exile into chains glory to God this is what God is saying that listen man when my wrath is kindled I don't look to say oh I'm gonna come down but I will set a uh, bigger man over you you're not too big you're not too powerful you're not too ah ah, ah mighty for god god will set a bigger man over you ah mighty god he will set a bigger man just to show that he is god and what he has said what he said that he will do he will do just that glory to god so we know that obadiah preached obadiah and um, prophesied he won he said listen man a judgment a day is coming when god is going to destroy you because uh, that's why the bible says that judah shall be glad mighty god and we know that judah rejoice uh, glory to god because of what god has done for them oh god has delivered them out of the hands of the enemy and might i tell you people of god our visitors just passed just passing by this morning just tapping off scrolling through coming to the end god is gonna come through for you god wrath is gonna kindle and god is gonna destroy whatever forces whatever edomite whatever agiite whatever 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 demonic forces has come up against you whatever altar whatever god will destroy it as long as you trust in god and your ways is pleasing unto god and you cry out to him he will deliver you out of the hand of the enemy and he will destroy them because they have set themselves higher than all they are to they're thinking of themselves higher than all they are to and god will surely bring them down let's have a quick prayer for your strength in the lord 
Father God, we thank you for the word. Oh, glory. We thank you that you're the God who confirms. We thank you that you're the God who God was mighty and great and powerful in battle. We thank you, God, that for your people, you will this devour the adversary. You will devour that was sent out to destroy them, God. You will lift up a standard. You will make a way, God, straight that seems to be crooked. You, God, will, oh, God, show up. Oh, God, you will bow down your head unto your people and you will hear the cry, God. You said you hear the cry of your people and the cry of the poor will not be forever. The cry of the needy will not be forgotten forever. God, we pray, God, that you strengthen your people in this warfare. Strengthen your people in this battle from bewitchment, from sorcerism. Oh, God, from sacrism. God, from altars. Oh, God, whatever that come upon them. God, save them. Mako Tebosha. Chill down. Oh, God, everything that's come up against them that seems that, God, that it is besetting them. God, lift up their head and let them give you the praise. Let them give you the glory. Let them give you the honor and show them, God, that you're the God that show your glory with no man. God, we decree and declare that, Lord God, they are coming out. We decree and declare, Lord God, that this is the day that you have made and they will rejoice and be glad in it. We decree and declare that, God, you are the way maker and you are made a way for them. Ma shatter. There is a narrow escape for them. Oh, God, make a way. Kato and let God, you, be glorified while the adversary, God, be terrified. Eko taba. Straighten their minds, straighten their hearts, straighten their peace. Oh, God, give them, Lord God, oh, God, the strength to lift up and the strength to keep on going and let God nothing, Lord God, uh, God is of the adversary beset them. In Jesus' name, in Jesus' name, not unto God that is able to do exceedingly, abundantly, above all that you can ever ask of or think of according to the power, according to the measure of faith, according to the God, according to the God that you trust, according to the power that worketh within you. May the power of God work within you through today and throughout this week. And may God bless you, may keep you, and may his face continue to shine upon you as he give you peace in the storm of season in your life. May it be light, oh glory to God, and may he continue to bless you and keep you and sustain you and satisfy you in Jesus' name. Have a good, 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 good Sunday. God bless you.